Okay, so another video on using Ableton Live uh, Jack Audio Connection Kit and Tractor together and this time I will be synchronizing both Tractor and Ableton. As you may know there's already quite a few videos on how to do this on the Mac but not so many for uh, Windows and I guess the reason for that is that on Windows it is not as straightforward than it is on a Mac because to be able to synchronize two applications you need a so-called internal MIDI port which is available on a Mac by default but not on Windows so in order to synchronize Ableton Live with Tractor we need a little piece of software one of them being MIDI Yoki from the MIDI Ox website another one uh, I think from a German company called Loop P1 uh, main difference between the two is uh, MIDI Yoki allows you to create uh, multiple MIDI ports while Loop P1 as the name implies is uh, limited to only one MIDI port and I'll be using Loop P1 basically because I only need one port for now another difference is that Loop P1 has like zero config you just install it it runs in the background there's a port available that you can use both in Ableton and Tractor and that's about it uh, you don't have to configure anything once you have downloaded and installed the MIDI driver if you have a look in your device manager under the audio you should see a new uh, device here called nerds.de loop one internal MIDI port that is what we will be using to synchronize uh, Ableton and Tractor and when the MIDI driver is running and active you should have a uh, icon in the system tray if you right click on it you see there's very little you need to do here uh, you can mute it which just disables the port and yeah that's about it there's 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 nothing else to it okay let's go ahead and look at my current setup uh, which is as basic as it gets my um, live outputs go to the system speakers and tractor is set to go to the system speakers as well if time permits uh, I'll look into a bit more advanced setup like sending some uh, outputs from tractor into Ableton Live and still synchronizing both of them but for now we'll just focus on synchronizing tractor and Ableton and with that said let's go ahead and look at the Ableton options select MIDI sync you should now see an input loop B internal MIDI and an output oh sorry this one output loop B internal MIDI what we need to do here is the input we're gonna select all three of them like track sync and remote and as soon as we selected sync here look if I switch it on and off at the top left you'll see here external appear and this is what will allow us to synchronize um, Ableton with uh, Tractor now let's go ahead and move over to Tractor go to file preferences and look at the control manager and what we'll do here is create a new device which you do by clicking the add button then selecting generic MIDI with generic MIDI the imports set up to none if you click on outports you should find an entry there called Luby internal MIDI select that you can rename this edit comment call it MIDI clock and hit OK and now one more thing to do here is select MIDI clock and enable the option here send MIDI clock enable that uh, the offset you can change it but leave it at 0 milliseconds so MIDI clock enabled controller manager added a MIDI device click on close and you should now be able if you click on the metronome here set this to auto then you should now be able to 
uh, click on the play pause button and this will start the uh, transport if I now move over to um, Ableton you should see that there is an in indicator blinking here this means that it is now receiving MIDI messages from Tractor and synchronizing Ableton to Tractor is as simple as clicking the external button here so now it's enabled you see that if I now click uh, the start button it doesn't start because it is now waiting for a start message from tractor okay so I went ahead and loaded up some stuff here in Ableton as you can see the tempo is now set to 135 and in tractor the tempo is 116 so as soon as I will synchronize these Ableton will match the tempo that is uh, set here in uh, Tractor. And just for the record, I'm not a DJ. I normally don't use Tractor. I just installed it to see what the possibilities are with synchronizing Tractor and Ableton. Now, with that out of the way, let's hit some buttons. DJ but I hope that at least you notice that when changing the tempo in tractor that Ableton followed and everything just kept running in sync. Hopefully this gets you on your way with synchronizing tractor and Ableton on Windows. Uh, good luck and thanks for watching. <laughs>